the best powerlifting shoe claimed by Adidas. They're called the Total. And I took them through a run through today. And our boy Joe Game Day, Joe Stanek, one of the best coaches in the USAPL, also ran through them. Uh, so we'll give you a little review on some footwear. I've worn a lot of sneakers, man. I've worn wrestling shoes, uh, Reebok powerlifting shoes, Reebok weightlifting shoes, a bunch of different slippers. So we'll give you guys a little compare and contrast today's video on the best powerlifting shoes out there. Welcome to the video, man. Like, subscribe, comment below. Deadlift day, second deadlift day in like six months. I'm here to impress Nico Flores. 585 Belders. Oh, okay. that's the goal. This one, well, we'll see, we'll see. I haven't pulled in six months. How much did you pull last time? Like 500? 500 for threes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Speed in three. I got deadly bar. I always uh, balance my cheaterness. Okay. We got straps. <laughs> yeah, we got straps. And then we got, got stiff strabs. bar, stiff bar. Okay. Well, stiffy. But then I went bumper, so now I'm cheating a little bit. Right? Okay. Cheat, not cheat, cheat, but then no bail. Okay. You know? Yin and so Yang. Balance. Yin and Yang. Okay. Heavy, but it moved all right, yeah? Oh, yeah, it was really yeah. good. It was really when good. When you don't deadlift a lot, my strength's still there, but then, like, my mental connection to how it should move isn't there. in a shoe I'm not as particular as most and you see it with how I lift right like I got a stiff bar one metal plate one fucking kilo plate like I'm chilling uh, even when I was competitive uh, shout out to Russ Wall I, I've kind of lifted and agreed with him like having matching plates is a blessing for me I don't need everything perfect I want to be able to lift weights under any condition do I like deadlift bars and shit yeah 100% it's the same with my shoes like I've done as long as they're kind of flat I'll lift them I lifted Jordan 1's that are kind of flat Club C's which are these sneakers behind you I lifted in those, skate shoes, blah, blah, blah. Um, what I look for is, yeah, some kind of support, comfort to the ground, and then as long as it's not too squishy. And so far with those, they actually, I thought visually I'd be way off the ground, it'd feel tall, uh, but they, I've worn wrestling shoes and I feel closer to the ground and really secure to the ground more than a wrestling shoe. Honestly, I like them a lot. Um, not sponsored, wished I was. Shout out to Adidas, the Street Side Gang, Yeezy. Yeah, but uh, Third Street, Three Stripes, seems real. Uh, but honestly, I like them a lot. Uh, and same thing, I have tried a ton of weightlifting shoes, and although I was sponsored, the Reebok Legacies are my top, and the Romelio 2s. So if you guys are into sneaks, we'll get Joe's uh, perspective, um, and see what he thinks, but the grip seems good. Everything so far, I didn't pull sumo, so that is one thing. The strap seems a little high. I'd put the strap lower if I was the designer, but I think it's great. How you doing, Joe? I'm good. You tried out these little beauties right here, right? I did, I did. I got the chance to do a full workout on them, and it was an interesting experience to say the least. They're uh, they're definitely a well-made shoe. Overall positive. We can get into the details of it though. Like off a of first feel, how were they compared to other slippers? So compared to like a slipper, uh, I would definitely say it's a it's a more solid feel overall. But I mean, it, it just sort of depends on on what you're looking for. For me, when I'm using a flat shoe, generally speaking, I kind of want to feel the ground i want to feel connected to the ground because that's the sort of inherent advantage that they have right you just you're able to be closer to the floor there's no heel that messes with your mechanics anything like that now that said i think if you're looking for that kind of a barefoot feel this probably is not the shoe for you even if you take the the insole out there still feels like there's a little bit of material right there that kind of prevents you from getting like that sort of zero floor feel barefoot type experience. It, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think that it has some applications that you could potentially use it for. Like I, I could certainly see this being a, a, a squat shoe for somebody that likes flats. I don't know like if you're looking for the barefoot experience that this would be a shoe for you. So I think those are like about a hundred dollars. Right. Would you recommend it for the price or would you say get a different shoe? I think it's a solid shoe. It, it, it really depends on why you're buying them, right? Like if you want just an all-purpose flat shoe that it's supposed to be, you know, the total experience, play on words there. Uh, I, I don't 
I don't think this would be a bad choice, uh, but I think that there are probably just better shoes that do what it's trying to do in, in different categories, right? I think there's ways that you can create a flat shoe that would be slightly better for squatting than this. For Even for bench pressing, there's, there's some different shoes that have like better traction on the bottom compared to this that make it harder for your feet to slide uh, that I think would, would be slightly better for benching. Um, and for deadlifting, again, I don't think it's necessarily bad, particularly if you take the insole out, but I think, again, if you want that sort of barefoot feel, you, you're, you're probably gonna be able to find different things that are same price or slightly cheaper that'll probably do the job just a little bit better. However, if you are that person who just wants one shoe that kind of does all of those things well, I would say that this is not a bad option for sure, especially for that price. If, 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 that, if that happened, I think that would be great because then you actually have like a power lifter designing the shoe. Um, when I look at this shoe, there are things about it that sort of like they, it, it, it seems like they at least talk to a power lifter or two. I don't know the history behind these shoes, to be honest. Um, and I don't know if they actually did any, any power lifting consulting behind it, but it, you can kind of see like the wide toe box, for example, is something that I love to see in a, in a power lifting shoe. Cause that lets me kind of, you know, grip the ground a little bit better. Um, there, obviously there's a metatarsal strap, which is a, a, a bonus for foot stability. Um, you know, a lot of things about it to me say that a power lifter at least had some kind of input on this, but I would I would think it would be that much better if they went to somebody who was actually a power lifter and said, let's let you be an active part of this design process rather than, okay, what would you like in a power lifting shoe? And then they just take a bunch of parts from their other shoes and try to best mimic that, you know what I mean? Out of five stars, what would you give it? I'd say like three and a half. Three and a half? Yeah, it's, it's like, it's better than average, but it's not, it's not like the run out and, and buy this immediately kind of thing. And also, I, I know this has nothing to do with like the actual performance of the shoe, but the, the color the colors are just, yeah, it's just, it's not, you would have been better just doing all white with like the black stripes. Yeah, um, I agree. Like, especially like, another thing that tells me that a power lifter didn't necessarily have a direct hand in how this was made is that, because let's face it, power lifters, especially young power lifters these days, they care a lot about how they look on the platform. They like to be flashy, not not that type of flashy, but yeah, they they like to they, they like to be color coordinated and you know just look you know they like to look cool as they lift, which to be honest I think is not the most necessary thing in the world. But you know if like if you wanted to sell shoes, that would be like another thing that would be an easy easy thing to do, and and clearly they they did not do their research on that. So um, yeah, all, all that together uh, and. That said, like some of the other factors that I mentioned before, like it being a flat shoe with a removable sole, but like the fact that that's not as thin as it could be, that's something that takes away a star for me. And then the metatarsal strap is, in my opinion, even though it's it's great that it's there, it's a little short. Like I, I feel like I should be able to pull this, you know, over to at least the edge of the material. And the fact that I can't do that um, makes me feel like it, it isn't going to work as well for somebody that has wider feet and it probably won't give me the same level of support as a shoe that has a full metatarsal strap say like a, a, a an adidas like addy star or like the the original addy powers for example their metatarsal straps are nice and and long i mean mind you those are, are squat shoes um, but i could feel a difference when i would strap the shoe over you know yeah. that's that's kind of where that rating comes from where can they find you at? you can find me uh on instagram at joe underscore game day find me on tiktok at the joe stanick and uh my gym and all of our crew at game day barbell on instagram tiktok twitch all that good stuff